Mark 15, verse 33 to 41. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing near heard this, they said, listen, he's calling Elijah. Some ra someone ran and filled a sponge with wine vinegar and put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus to drink. Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes down to take him. He said with a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus saw how he died, he said, Surely this man was the Son of God. Some women were watching from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James the younger, and of Joseph and Salome. In Galilee, these women had followed him and cared for his needs, but many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem were there also. I wonder what your thoughts are about Jesus' death. The darkness that surrounded him from midday until 3 p.m. in the afternoon. A visual sign in the natural of the judgment that was about to come. The same darkness that may have come over Egypt at the beginning before the Passover. It would have been fresh in their minds. But here the darkness was about to cover the land because the Passover lamb was about to be slaughtered. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted. As he took on the sin of the whole world the spotless lamb about to die. He breathed his last and the curtain torn in two. The destruction of the temple, all that they held dear, the most holy place was now on the hill outside where Jesus died, rather in a place reserved for the priests and the chief priests. People watched as he breathed his last. 